Hi, I'm Aaron McKenzie. Welcome to an Origin of Energy training session. So today I'm doing a 30-30 workout, 30 seconds on, 30 off. So in this workout, you're going to do 30 seconds of work, then you're going to rest for 30 seconds on one side you're going to work, then you're going to work the other side. So I'm going to do my left arm first, doing a single arm cable push, driving out of that back leg, keeping a nice stable stance. Easier version, I just press out, keep the trunk static, alternate the arms. Next version, if I want to integrate the legs, I can come down into a straight lunge. So come up, exhale, come down. Next version, I get a weight shift, drive out of that back leg, load it up, press through, and just get that integration of the whole body breathing out as I press forward. 30 seconds, 30 seconds rest, then go to the other side. If you don't have a cable, you can obviously just do a stepping lunge on one side, or you can do a stepping lunge with an overhead press, drive up from the front leg, press it up, or you could press under it even. So it's a bit different, but it's a much cheaper way than getting a cable stack. The other option is you could get a sled or a tire and attach a ring to it, and then press that ring, drag the tire along. That's kind of a low cost version of a cable as well. Or if you've got a pull up bar, you put the, the uh, Grab the ring, pop it over the bar, and then put a weight on the end of that ring like a kettlebell, and then you can press that like you would a cable. So that's a low cost cable system for home if you want. From here I've got a crossbody pull, just using the bar bell and it's attached to a torsionator. So easy version, just got the hand on the knee to support the spine. Next version, alternating the arms, and then full version, one leg, like that, if I integrate it, I can use that leg to drive up. So I get a little bit of power from the leg. Obviously, simple version, we're just using a dumbbell or a kettlebell or any type of weight and do the same thing. One hand on the knee, alternate, or single leg, single arm. It's good to cross over the body, so use that opposite glute, opposite lat. Get that back fired up in the back sling. So here, third movement. I'm going to do a single leg box squat. So if I'm starting with the left leg, I'm just going to stick that butt out, reach forward, sit down on the box, back up. So you can use a higher or lower box to make it easier or harder. Uh, one thing you do want to watch out for is if you reach forward with the other leg and you tuck your butt under, you're going to land on the box with a round spine. So you really want to make sure you keep that arch and stick your butt out. If you find that hard to get that, you can always just go back to just doing a single leg version, just stepping off the box. So most people have a chair or some type of bench or ledge that they can use to do that. Pretty simple, six minutes around, four rounds, 24 minutes. Good workout, because you're working one limb at a time, it's not too fatiguing as you would if you say a double arm, like a double chest press double bent over row and a heavy squat and then you'd be like on a three minute round on a 30-30 and you get twice the amount of volume, you get eight rounds out of it. Be a lot harder on the body, so it's a little bit easier, it's a bit more of a cruisier day. For core, this did six minutes worth of two point and supermans. The two point version we did today was on the ball. Uh, if you don't have a ball, obviously you can do it on the floor, same deal. So you start off with a four point stance. Good thing with this on the ball is just to get used to coming off. Um, so a lot of people are scared to go too far forward and what you want to get used to is kind of just coming up like that if you go too far forward and if you go further than that and you can't come back you just let the leg come around to the side. That way it's scary to put more weight into the hand so you can get that nice position. From there if you want to go something harder just go to the three point stance you can see I kind of move that knee a little bit to the center makes it a little bit easier. And then from there, once you've got that, just go to that two point. So you just want to get a nice long spine, get that back leg up nice and high, reach out with the arm. That's quite fun, something a little bit different. So a minute worth there. And then just from that, we went into a Superman, holding that for a minute, fingertips down, and then just taking the hands up for the harder version, and just finding that balance point. And then you can kind of play with it, reach forward, reach back alternate where the load is centered, just changing the center of gravity. So that's a bit of fun. Three sets of that, six minutes, 30 minute workout. Good fun. 
See you next time. Ciao.